Hey guys, good morning from cloudy southern Nevada. Hey, I was in a uh, um, large sporting goods store the other day, and they've got stores throughout the country, but I went in there and they had a ton of this Herder's 9mm ammo. It's the cheapest 9mm ammo they had, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy 300 rounds and do a review on it, see if it's any good. Now, this does come in 100 round boxes, and I, I picked up three boxes of it. So, we're going to take a quick look at this ammo, and then we're going to fire it through five different guns, and we're also going to check uh, velocity just to see how consistent this ammo may or may not be. And so out of the five firearms I'm going to shoot today, four handguns and one carbine. That carbine, I just picked it up five days ago, have not shot it yet. You guys have not seen it, so that should be a lot of fun. So, let's take a look at this ammo. 115 grain, full metal jacket. Uh, you know, nothing fancy. It's also made in the USA. So, you know what, let's uh, pop this box open. Take a look at this ammo. You know, nice and shiny. Don't see any any rounds that are tarnished. And this ammo is, in fact, made by Winchester. So you know what? Let's take a look at the guns we're going to shoot today. Okay. So while I'm talking about these, I'm going to show you some close-up video. But I have a Sky. This little beauty right here. This is a CPX2. And I, I actually, I've owned three Sky pistols over the years, and really just great little shooting pistols. This one does use a 10-round magazine, and like I said, just a just a good overall little pistol for self-defense. Next, I have a Taurus G3. I tell you what, I I really like these G3 series of pistols. I I own three of them. This one does use a 17-round magazine. got decent sights on it like the color and uh, just a great shooter Smith & Wesson this is a shield I've owned this for a lot of years I used to carry it uh, concealed I don't carry this one anymore another great little pistol this one has a eight round magazine decent sights on it shoots great really do like this little shield all right, Glock. I own several Glock pistols. My son owns a, a Glock. My brother has one. This one here is the Model 45. And I'll tell you what, I just love Glock pistols. This one also uses a 17 round magazine. I have the original sights on it. And just a, just a great shooter. All right, let's take a look at my brand new carbine. This one just recently came out. This is the new Smith & Wesson FPC. Look at that, huh? So let's pop this open. Look at that, huh? Pretty cool. Now, I don't... I haven't done a review on this yet, so I don't want to cover it too much, but I will say I really like the feel of this. It comes with three magazines, one 17 round, and it comes with two 23 round magazines and as you can see that buttstock holds two magazines that's pretty cool the only thing i've done with this so far is i've cleaned and lubed it just like i said in the manual and i installed a sig romeo 5x red dot so again, I will do a review on this in, the, in a couple of weeks, but today I just want to get it broke in and see how it's going to shoot. I want to get the red dot sighted in and just uh, have a lot of fun. So you know what? Let's get some targets set up and do some shooting. Okay, we're going to start off with reliability. We're just going to fire some rounds through each pistol and the carbine, see if we're going to have any problems with reliability. And we're going to start off with the Sky. And let's fire 20 rounds. Okay, 
Tell you what, that's got a nasty little kick to it. Alright. G3, 17 rounds. Smith & Wesson Shield. Now I only have one magazine so I'm going to fire eight rounds and then reload it and shoot another eight. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so far so good. Glock, model 45. <laughs> yep, do like this one. Alright, let's break out that carbine. Alright. Now, one thing I like about this is I was able to bore sight the red dot because I can look right down the barrel. So I have this set pretty close, but I don't want to just sit here and shoot paper. That's kind of boring. So I'm going to pick out some targets out there on the hillside, and I have 17 rounds. Again, have not shot this. Let's see what happens. little to the left. Now I will say one thing about this and it is unloaded and the safety is on. If I hold this like a pistol I can hit that magazine release real easy but if I hold it like a carbine like so can't hit that magazine release I have to totally adjust it so kinda don't like that but it is what it is. You know what? Let's set up some still and have a little fun. Let's see if you can see uh, that red dot in there. I don't know if you can or not. Let me turn that brightness up a little bit. But I'll tell you what, I love a red dot. Okay, next we're going to check velocity, and I just want to check uh, how consistent the ammo is. So I'm going to shoot the Glock, and I'm also going to shoot the carbine, so let me get set up, and then uh, we'll start shooting and see what happens. Alright, let's fire five rounds and see what we get. 1183. 1181. 1160. 1167 1170 Five rounds 1333 1365 1378 1365 
1381. Not too awful bad, huh? You know, I have fired almost all 300 rounds, and this ammo has been 100% reliable in all of my guns today. So right now we're going to take a quick look at accuracy. I'm going to get out my Glock, move back a little further, and see if I can hit that steel plate. Hey, I'll take two out of three, one-handed. So I have that still plate set up at, I don't know how far, at least 100 yards and maybe 125. And it does measure, I believe it's 8 by 10. But I'm going to take a few shots with my carbine, so let me get set up and we'll take a couple shots. Okay, now I don't know if you can see it, but that plate is just to the right of those tire tracks up there on the hillside. So, take a few shots and see if I can hit it. Might have to tweak this just a little more, but I hit it, what, three out of eight, I think? Let's try that again. Okay, I zoomed in, I seen where I was hitting, so I made a couple adjustments on my red dot. Let's try five more rounds.
was better. Four out of five, it sounded like. All right. Okay, guys, final thoughts on this ammo. You know what? I shot 299 rounds. Not one single problem with it. Fairly accurate. So the question is, would I buy it again? Absolutely, without a doubt. Last round, let's see if I can hit that steel plate. Yeah, <laughs> last round. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.